Got it here another Morgan Silver Dial Roll from eBay Auction. This one is pretty unique. I had luck with this kind of rolls before that is Estonian on the side of the uh, end coins of the roll. I have found a hundred dollar really cool Estonian in the middle of the of the roll. Very very collectible. But there you go. This side is all. It doesn't have any Estonian. But this side has quite an interesting Estonian. Have pretty good luster, but not super great condition though. So still, people collect Tonin coins like that way more than this ones. Anyways, let's open it very carefully. See what happening in here. Okay, hopefully it's not the only Tonin coin. It might be because that's the only I see that has a little bit of a darkness over here. Let's see what mint it is. Has no mint mark. So I'd say this is easily like $50, $40 coin. That's pretty good quality and very, very interesting turn into it. Hopefully I'll get more Tonin coins in the middle. No mint mark, but I'll tell you what. It does has a little bit of Tonin over here, but it doesn't have any mint mark. Doesn't have a lot of Tonin. 1985, not bad. That's a cool coin right here. And look at that luster, good quality. And now, now we're getting somewhere over here. Okay, no mint mark on this one. We're looking for CCs. And what we got here? 1900, wow, that's a pretty good quality. Look at that, that is a very good luster. This is easily $40, $50 coin on eBay. A lot of people might tell me that no way you can sell it for that much. Two at the coin store, they'll probably pay you a little bit less, but if you wait and take your time selling it on eBay, people will pay a lot more for such a good quality coins over here. This is a really good one, 1900. Ooh, this one is very shiny as well. I don't see any scratches almost on the back of this coin. Beautiful coin. Okay, is the font as good? Uh, 1990. No, 1890. That's a good date over here too. Look at that luster. People look for that kind of coins and I don't see any scratches on the face or anything. I should send them off to grade. See what they come back as. Usually I like to only send off items, whatever is worth more than uh, $200. Then I like to send things off for the grading. So that way it's worth it. But yeah, very beautiful coin, 1896, no mint mark, but again, another beautiful coin over here. Look at that luster, that's what we're looking for. So that's not a bad roll, roll at all, this one is an O. Again, look at that luster. If it was already went through it, I would assume they would put a lot of bad coins inside there. So if you only pay $400 for that whole roll, maybe it's worth it. Okay, this one is another or Of course, we didn't get any CCs. I mean, if you would get so many CCs, then they wouldn't be so valuable. Whoa, look at that one. That one has a pretty unique tone into it, that's for sure. And look at that good quality. That I should take it to a coin store, get their opinion, because that is an amazing quality of the coin, one of the best ones over there. And look at these spots on it. Very, very different tone into it. Let me know in comments below what do you think. Wow, that's an amazing 1883. It's a more common coin, but oh well. That's an amazing quality over there, one of the best ones. 1885, will we get a CC? Nope, just an O. Not bad. Again, the quality of all these coins are pretty awesome. So I definitely lucked out with that all because sometimes you get a lot of coins that don't have any luster at all in the roll. So that's actually a better roll. So pretty much most of them uncirculated. This one is an O as well. Beautiful. And the last one is 1885. So don't get any CCs, don't get any awesome Tonin in the middle of the hole. 
but one time I did and it was amazing this is good quality but let me show you how much this coin stands out you see what I'm talking about this is pretty good luster over here but this one is amazing luster and that coin was in the middle of the hole if it was me I will like packing up faking the holes if they fake I would be putting that on the edge but as you can see it wasn't on the edge are they already been packed up and go through I'm not so convinced because this is still was the best coin in the whole hole and I paid only $400 for the whole hole love this coin it's so shiny I think this is still the most valuable coin over here it has pretty interesting tone into it nothing super amazing but it has this blue and yellow on this coin which is make it very very unique and this one is just such a good quality and has unique dots to it I don't know kinda like it I actually didn't even notice 1985 uh, on the back of this coin has a really awesome tone into it you see on the edge it doesn't have a very profound and if it would be from here to here a big big round one would be even cooler so the way it happened the coin was laying on top of each other like that and so it discolored this coin probably the most and only a little bit of this one so yeah very unique one again it's not on the front of it in the back of it but still people collect those and it's a really good quality anyways that's what you can expect in a roll that has endo of the toning you might get some toning you might get a lot of them or might get none of them